In this tutorial, you will create an ELT pipeline that syncs data from Postgres to BigQuery using Airbyte. Let's get into the video right now. All right, so even before we begin, there are some prerequisites that you need to meet before we can even complete this tutorial. Number one, you will need a Postgres database version 9.3 or above. Secondly, you will need a GCS account for BigQuery. And last but not least, you need to sign up for either Airbyte Cloud or be using Airbyte open source software. Okay, so now at this point, I'm already assuming that you have Docker running, that you have cloned our repo and ran the command docker compose up and now you have access to our airbyte ui which you see on my screen right now now we're here on our ui the first thing you need to do is that you need to click on the sources tab and for us to create a source to airbyte open source or airbyte cloud you simply just need to click new source the same thing on the cloud and on our open source software uh, we set up the source. We now need to click our source type and we're simply going to select, well, what is our source? It's going to be Postgres. That's why you're watching this video. And now what we need to do is that we need to fill out the credentials on here. Now, if you're on Everett Cloud, you need to simply enter your host name, your host, the port number to your database. You're good to go. I'm using the open source software at this moment. Now, because I'm using open source software, my host will simply be localhost, right? Fill this out. My port number would be two. Uh, will be 2000. Yeah, my port will be 2000. DB name, my DB name for my Postgres database is Postgres. Then simply enter your username and password. Boom. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and click set up source. Click that button. Everything should be good to go. All connections have passed, which is perfect. So now that we set up our source, we need to set up our destination, right? So on this button to the right, I'll click add destination, add a new destination. And in our search menu right here, it simply type in BigQuery and it's actually already here on top. That is perfect. Now, what we need to do next is actually set up the credentials for BigQuery for us to be able to move our data from Postgres to BigQuery. And let's do that right now. What I need to fill in first is fill out the post, the project ID. Data set location will be US. All right. And in this case, the default data set ID will be Airbyte raw. And for our loading method, we're actually going to select GCS staging. As for credentials, we will be using our HMAT key, right? So you will, of course, need to get this from your BigQuery account. I'll go ahead and paste in my credentials here right now. Okay, in the name of my bucket, I just simply named it PTB, which you can, but you can name other things like analytics, staging two, whatever. I just named it PTB, and then my bucket path will be PTB slash uh, staging. Okay, then last but not least, we need to enter our service account key and then we click set up destination. Okay, so now we're waiting for this to connect. Let's make sure that we are able to even connect to a destination and there you go, all connections have passed. Now, next we need to set up our connection. Let's go ahead and let's finalize this right now. Now, in regards to replication frequency, instead of 24 hours, I'm going to change it to one hour. And for our destination name space, rather than mirror source structure, we'll change this to custom format. And the namespace custom format that I will use is airbyte underscore prod config API. And it's already in there. Perfect. So as you can see, right, again, I set the frequency to every hour. Um, you can change your replication frequency depending on your needs, but for me, I'll just set it as an hour. Okay. Here at Airbyte, what we do is that we load data from multiple sources to a single BigQuery project, right? Because we don't want data to be held in the default data set specified in the destination configuration. So we use the custom format option so that data will be stored in the Airbyte prod config API data set. If you want to know more about namespaces, I'll make sure I link the blog below where you can find links to everywhere in the documentation. Now, what we need to do next is it's time to configure our streams. Okay, so one thing to note is that each stream represents like a table. Let me scroll down to our streams real quick, right? One thing to note is that each stream represents a table that will be created in BigQuery, right? So you can expand each stream to see the fields they contain, their data type, how they will be named in BigQuery, etc. And you can also select which streams you want to sync using sync toggle. So now what we need to do next is we need to select a sync mode for each stream. So let's do that right now. So now here at Airbytes, what we do tend to use is deduped plus history, which is right down here, deduped plus history. Um, and that's because like we usually want to model our data as slowly changing dimensions of type 
two for example in our dashboards we want to know when a connection stopped being active or when someone disabled or deleted it right but we will still need to count for periods when it was active which also means a connection could be counted for june but not if july if it was disabled for july right but anyway so i'll be using overwrite let's make sure this all works now let's set up our connection and let's go ahead and let's sync this okay perfect so we see that our sync has succeeded which is exactly what we were looking for. Now we're going to go ahead and go to BigQuery and let's go look at our data set and we'll see that several sets of tables. All right, so we saw that our sync was successful and because the sync was successful, we should be able to see the data in BigQuery, right? If you go to our data set like where I'm at right now, you will see that several sets of tables were actually created, right? For example, we'll see three columns here, right? We'll see three columns. We will see airbytes underscore a b i d airbyte emitted ads and airbyte underscore data these tables exist pretty much because a core tenant of elt philosophy is that data should be untouched right as it moves through the e and the l stages so that the raw data is always accessible okay there you go you saw me move data from my postgres database to bigquery data warehouse now let's just wrap this up real quick now taking your operational data to the next level by loading data into a data warehouse can give you significant advantages right at airbyte we use our product airbyte cloud to achieve that which you can get started for free in the link description below but other than that this is how you move data from postgres to bigquery using airbyte and airbyte cloud i hope you all enjoyed the video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching Thank you.